welcome to the Artist Academy podcast. Andrea Earhart here, muralist, adventurer, and your host as I interview inspiring artists who are killing it in the art game to show you that it's completely possible to make a great living doing the thing you love to do. (laughs) We highlight the business side of art to help you reach more customers, increase profits, and ultimately live a life of creative freedom. (laughs) Enjoy the show. This episode is sponsored by the Mural Master Program inside of the Artist Academy Advanced Membership. This program is specifically designed to help you with every step of the mural process. From coming up with an idea, to finding a wall to paint it on, to pitching your ideas to businesses, and finally, of course, I teach you exactly how to paint large scale. Murals are a lot of fun and a great way to grow your art business. I know because it has been one of the top ways that I've been able to grow my own art business as quickly as I have. With several years of experience as a muralist, I've dialed down the painting techniques, the proposals, the pitching, the whole bit. And now I've compiled it into one resource for you called the Mural Master Program. This is included inside of the Artist Academy Advanced Membership, and I would love to invite you to join us by going to artistacademy.co, that is artistacademy.co, and click the link to see the Mural Master Program and learn more. And that's it, so let's get on with the show. 2K in one day is the title of this episode because as most of you know, I teach the business side of art and I love me some number goals. (laughs) I'm going to share with you the exact method that I use to generate over $2,000 in just 24 hours in my art business last year. So just to give you a little bit of background, this was the second time that I did this certain special marketing tactic. The first time I did it, which was two years ago, I wanted to try out this marketing tactic and I ended up making $1,000 in one day. And I was like, whoa, this is great. This is, I'm onto something here. And so I tried it again the next year, which was last year and ended up making a little over two thousand dollars in one day again and now this year i'm going to do it yet again because if something works (laughs) just keep doing it and keep changing it and to make it better and just yeah so this year i'm doing it again and then next year i'll do it again (laughs) and this year i have the goal of three thousand dollars in one day and i'm gonna say Ah, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just so nervous because even though this system has been proven to work two times in a row now, just setting a bigger goal, it just blows my mind that you can make $3,000 in a day. In one day. <laughs> I have this like poor money mindset mentality that I'm trying to shake away slowly but surely as I literally shake my body. <laughs> And just just convince myself that I am worthy of this, and it's not greed, it's just a goal, and it's why we create. So my goal this year is for $3,000 in one day, and in this episode I'm going to share to you why you should be using some of these marketing tactics and how I did. So just to back it up and really dissect how I did this, it was through prints. Prints are really one of the only ways that I know of to make that much passive income in a day. Just because you can charge for your work and you can ask for so much per hour, but there's only so much you can ask for hour, you know? And uh, so just my way of doing this is through passive income with prints. And I'm going to talk about my Print Perfect tutorial inside the Artist Academy Advance several times throughout this process because it was a very big stepping stone in learning how to do prints and just it was a it was a big process to learn all of this stuff and as you've 
probably listened in, in other episodes, I am a natural art educator and I want to tell you everything that I know so that you can <laughs> do it yourself. And so I made a course. It's called Print Perfect and it shows you exactly how to profit from prints. You're taking a painting that you've already made, you've already put the hours into it, you're super proud and you love it and you turn it into prints for the people that you then buy. You don't have to create anything else. All you have to do is take an order on your website, which is automatic, is how I teach how to set it up. Everything is very automatic. And then you give the order to your printer and then you pick it up and that's it. (laughs) And it's an amazing system. And so through doing prints. I just want to talk about the printing process really quick. So when I'm talking about doing prints, I do not physically print them myself. I thought about it, but just talking to a couple other artists who have created prints on their own, a lot of people get really overwhelmed with the printing process. I've seen a couple people do it and their prints look amazing, and but that's just not something that I wanted to tackle. So I let the pro do it and I have found the most amazing printer here locally. Just message me and I will give you all their info. Um, But I've been through three printers, so they are my third now and I'm never leaving. If you need a printing recommendation, let me know. Uh, Their prices are great and they ship to anywhere. They're actually local to where I am, but his name is Todd and he does an amazing, amazing job. And he, just the customer service and the product combined, I will never go anywhere else. And I'm so excited that I found him. I actually found him right after my big, you know, 2K in one day print sale last year and I wish I would have found him before because my printing last year I put in an order and it was well over a month before I got anything back and I was just frantic so if you bought a print for me last year just know it's not going to be like that anymore (laughs) and I've got the print process down and I want to also save you the headache of finding the you know finding the wrong printer and doing what I did because I was just I didn't cry, but I thought about it last year, and I'm just so excited that those days are over, and I figured out the printing process, and things just go so much smoother, because I feel so much better about promoting that this year, and I'm actually going to mention that, so for anybody who ordered last year, I'm actually going to mention it in a couple social media posts about how I'm sorry that it didn't get to you as quickly, or you know anything last year, but this year it's all taken care of, and everything's going to get everything is going to be amazing. So if you would like help with the printing process, I have a full tutorial on it. It's over a little over two hours, so not crazy long, but it goes through everything. Framing, choosing a printer, choosing shipping. Uh, If you want to go local or not, it goes over a lot of things. And there's a lot of things that I show you as well with this, with just different Uh, matting, uh, different frames, and all of that that's kind of hard to show in a podcast. So it's something you just kind of have to watch. And I share a lot of stories in there about past printing stuff and how I figured out the whole printing process through this. And I actually show you exactly how I ship my prints. So exactly how they're wrapped up in bubble wrap and taped up and everything and how I put a little card in there and just the whole bit. I literally show you everything about the printing process. So if you're stuck on that and you need a little bit of help with it, it's inside the Artist Academy Advance. It's called the Print Perfect Tutorial. And there you go. So now just to go back and to how I made $2,000 in one day and really dissect how I did that. First and foremost, I can't you know, I, I can't go on without mentioning this, that I spent a lot of time building my audience and posting about art consistently. And those are two of the things that really helped me be able to sell that first year, especially the $1,000 in one day. I had been selling art for a while and I'd built up an audience and which in turn, you know, just goes into this last year too, when I did $2,000 in one day, I had an even bigger audience and I continued to post regularly and build that online relationship. And it just, it got bigger and bigger and my audience grew more and I got to know them a little bit better. My posts got better. We started doing video more and it all adds up. And I think those two things are a big thing into how 
I ended up selling $1,000 and then $2,000 in one day and hopefully $3,000 in one day this year. Oh my gosh, that's a big goal. Um, and you know, when I taught this last year during the fourth quarter success plan, I told people this and I think a lot of people were really excited to, you know, sell $1,000 of prints in one day. And I felt like afterwards I was like, maybe I was a little misleading with this. In all honesty, like maybe, you know, maybe I was so excited that I was like, yeah, if I did it, you can do it. And I wasn't clear that you're probably not going to do that in your first year of being an artist. It's just not going to happen like that. And so I apologize if I'm ever misleading on things, but that's not my intention. I'm just really excited about the results that I get for myself, and I fully believe that you can too. The only difference between me and you is that I have a little bit more experience than you do, and I've been going at it a little bit longer. That's it. But, you know, I want to help save you from the mistakes that I made with choosing the wrong printer and choosing the wrong paper and shipping it incorrectly and it breaking and having to redo it and just all of those things so I want to help you work through all of those things, but it's you're you can't come into this and want to hear my strategy in this with you being in your first year of business because it's not going to happen. And I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. But just real realistically, if you just made a website for the first time, you're able to sell prints. Like you're gonna sell prints but it's probably won't be a high, high, high amount that you want. Not at first anyway. And I think even if you're in the beginning process, like there are some people who just joined the fourth quarter success plan and they're getting ready to learn all of the things that I did. And I think it is still going to be 1000% beneficial for you because you're going to have a heads up and know what to do at well ahead of time. And are going to be able to perfect it well ahead of time to avoid all the things that I did to, with, you know, disappointed customers and all of that stuff. And you're going to be so prepared to and motivated to grow your email list way sooner than me, way sooner than I did. And just it starts, you know, just doing all of the things that I teach you guys how to do. I think there's never, you're never too early to start doing some marketing tactics ever. And the more you do them, the more emails you send out, the better you're going to be at it, uh, the more conversational you're going to sound, the, better, the more you're going to know how to talk to your customer, and just the more, the better you're going to be to where when you do have that bigger audience and you are able to have these high dollar amounts, it's going to be even more for you because you've had the experience and you've done the practice and it's just so much better <laughs> because you started way early and you're now in a position later on to be able to excel. So I just wanted to say that right away. If you're in your first year, don't expect to have high, high, high dollar sales, but it will come. I promise it will come. And learning this, it's never too early to learn some of this stuff. So in the first step of this, I built my audience and I posted consistently. So I hope that that is motivation for you to maybe if you're in the artist academy go to the social media section and go to the videos about reels right now reels are still really big right now and go to the instagram section about just how to learn how to speak to your customer and where to go to grow and who to collaborate with and all of those things and start to build your audience and start to grow it and post consistently <laughs> post consistently post consistently okay now, the second thing I did in order to make $2,000 in one day crazy was I educated my audience on what a print is and how easy it was to order from me. So I, I just basically made a video on how easy it is to, you know, er, e easy it is to order from me and where you go and what the process is like and where my website is because I'm going to bet if someone knows you, they don't know what your website is. Even one of your closest friends, ask them. Be like, hey, w what is my website? Can you can you just like say it? And a lot of people can't. <laughs> they don't know. They are going to be looking for a link. They're going to be searching around. You don't want to make them search around. You want to give it to them. Here, here, go here. 
you go here, you do this. Good, good. <laughs> like, treat people like cattle sometimes. Move along. <laughs> That's, okay. And I also educated them on what a print is because a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I want a print. Wait, is that just like, because a lot of people have maybe like a misinformation. Maybe they bought a print from someone else before and it looks really cheap or something. So they want to know what your stuff looks like and how cool it is and how amazing it is. And you want to talk it up and say, oh, I, I got to get it made here. And this is what the photography process is like. It's, you know, it's very extensive and we, we make sure it's perfect to match the original. And a lot of people don't know what a print is. They don't. They don't know what a print is. <laughs> It's so funny too, because I mean we do like we obviously do, but a lot of people will be like, "Yeah, print, okay, yeah, I, yeah, I want that, yeah, sure." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, do you want to print or original?" They're like, "Uh huh." <laughs> they they don't know. So I made a video explaining, and I'm actually going to remake that video this year because it was two years ago when I made it the first time, and my video skills have gotten a lot better in two years. It's hard to watch the other one. But I'm going to remake it this year and, again, just enter entertain and educate. That's my thing. If I could entertain you enough to keep your attention and to ed educate you, I've done my job. Another one is I built my email list. And the first year, I started building my email list a couple months before I launched uh, that so basically I did a discount. I actually, I've gone this far and I didn't even tell you exactly what I did. We're getting to it. But so basically I started building my email list and I started doing it a couple months ahead of time for the 1K in one day one and it did pretty well. <laughs> it did a lot better than I thought. I was like, well, I made $1,000 a day really just for, for trying this thing. And there's a lot more to it. I didn't say, I didn't just like get a couple emails and ask people to buy. Like there's a lot more to it. There's a lot of lingo. There's a lot of building trust and entertaining and all of that. But, and then the, so the second year, you know, like I had a couple people that had bought from me before who were happy and you know, most of the people were happy. I say, I say it was a printing disaster. It was more, I was freaking out. The customers were all happy, mostly because I threw in a couple like postcard prints and I was like, here you go. They happy. They're like, okay, cool. And so, um, basically I was then building my audience, building my email list for that next year. And sending out emails right, kind of kind of regularly. Actually, to be completely honest, I have been neglecting my email list a little bit lately. So I need to build it back up again. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> tell people. See what's up. But, and so I'm building it again. And then the next year, I sent out more emails, better emails. And at certain times, and did all of that. And ended up making $2,000 in one day. And so what happened was, I used my birthday which is October 18th, and I did a sale, and <laughs> so we did 29% off, and then 30% off, and then this year we're going to do 31%, and <laughs> ugh, I can't believe 21 already, or 31, um, oh my gosh, it's been that long since my 21st birthday, oh wow, <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I was so dumb back then. <laughs> like, I feel like we're all so dumb when we're 21, but we have so much fun, you know? <laughs> and anyway, so it's been 10 years since my 21st birthday. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to do 31% off this year. And what I did with that is I used, you know how on Facebook where everybody loves to send you happy birthday? I am just not a birthday person, really. I'm like, okay, yeah, everybody has a birthday every single year. Congratulations. <laughs> I just am not big into birthdays. And it's not because I don't want to get older. Like, I think it's great. I'm getting wiser and all of that. I could do without the wrinkles and shit, but I'm getting wiser and I don't mind it. So it's not really that. It's just that I don't think a birthday is like the super special thing that we should be celebrating. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and so instead I turned off the thing to where people can post on my timeline on my Facebook. So people cannot wish me happy birthday like that. And I make a post saying, hi, it's my birthday. Uh, lingo, lingo, lingo. Um, I'm doing a 31, like this year I'll say I'll, I'm doing a 31% off sale. It would be really amazing. Um, if you could mention, if you could, if you're going to wish me happy birthday to do it on, in a comment on this post so that it helps the algorithm reach. Um, there's no expectation in buying anything, but it would really help my 
small business out. Basically, basically saying, if you want to tell me happy birthday, comment on my post about my sale. And then that really helps. But that's not it, though. Because I've seen a couple people here recently, because I shared this last year, and I've seen a couple people here recently do that and I'm like no (laughs) because the photo that they post isn't the best photo they've ever taken and they just do that and they don't send out emails following up Um, they don't send out uh, preview emails the day before letting people know what's coming they don't send out an email the week before like educating they don't they just are like oh um it's my birthday. I'm going to have a sale. And they it, they just throw it up and it doesn't work like that. You might get a couple. I wouldn't say it doesn't doesn't work completely, but you might get a couple. You want to plan for something like this. And they say like you sometimes you hear a bunch of people are like, "Oh, I'm going to launch a product." Think of it like that. Think about how you are going to be launching this thing that you're going to do because if I'm going to make $3,000 in one day, there's going to be a lot of thought into it. And I envy anybody that can just put up a sale or, you know, just say, hey, buy my art and people are buying it. That just doesn't happen. It's it's tough. (laughs) And so just know that this is very thought out and just very planned. And there are certain ways that you can go about sending an email without being pushy. Um, you don't want to lie and say this is the best deal in the universe. Like you just, But you want to say, hey, hurry up. It's about to expire. Like there's just a lot of lingo. And in our fourth quarter success plan, I'm going to give you all of the lingos and basically give you a template on how to send out an email the proper way, when to send it, the exact times, what the script should say, how much image you should include, and the whole bit. But that's how I made $2,000 in one day last year. I planned. (laughs) I planned. I built my audience and I built that trust. I educated them about where to go, how to find me, how to order it, and what they were ordering so people know what a print is. I emailed them, I gained their trust, and really an email, if you mix email with social media posting, I think it's just doubling your chance, because I remember last year, and this is how I know email works, it's because I sent out an email, and I had them all pre-planned, I sent sent it out at like 3 p.m., and I had two two orders come in at like 3.01 and 3.02, and then I sent on another one at 7 p.m. And I had a couple or- more orders come in. So, like, I'd say three or four more orders come in at, like, 7.05, 7.06, 7.07, 7.08. And that's how I know emails work because of the proof. That is proof. <laughs> because as soon as you send people a reminder, oh, yeah. Because what happens with email, too, is a lot of people, will see your stuff on social media. A fraction will see it. And then they'll forget about it or they'll go on to the next scroll and be like, oh, that was a cool photo and then they're on to the next one. The Instagram algorithm is meant for stuff like that. They're meant to just keep you on there, keep you scrolling, keep you entertained and your stuff can get easily forgotten. However, if you send an email, most people open emails way, way more than seeing your post on Instagram randomly. They just, people are more likely to see, to see your email. That's just what it is. So you are, I'd say, over doubling your chances of getting a sale. And so how do you get emails? That's another thing. Okay, how do you get emails? Let's just backtrack a little bit. Basically, you do a giveaway. You have to, or you have to give them something that, you have to give them a chance at something or give them something that is good enough for them to give up their email because nobody wants to give up their emails nowadays. Nobody. So you have to give them a good enough reason to do so in order to get their email. And I have tried multiple things. (laughs) I've tried doing a screensaver. I have tried doing mostly it's giving away a print or giving away um, my services of some sort. I gave away a um, uh, like a kid's room nursery mural one year. Um, you, you basically have to give away something that's interesting enough or the chance of something that's interesting enough for them to give you their email. <laughs> Super simple, right? Okay. And this year on the topic of giving them something they want, I am going to add in another element to it. 
Uh, this year, I am I'm trying to really make sure that I get my three thousand dollars in one day goal really, and I think with this, I think there's a chance to go over that. What I'm gonna do? So I have a bunch of originals still from my animal series that just never sold, mostly because they're high ticket, and a lot of people just don't don't have the funds for high ticket stuff. And however, I love creating them and prints have, you know, the amount I've sold in prints has made up for what I would have made uh, if I would have sold them originally. So I have a bunch of originals hanging around. What I'm going to do, oh, so, and I really, I kind of want them gone. <laughs> they're, they're taking up space. I'm kind of moving on to clouds right now. So it's, I'm moving on and I'm going to do a 62% sale off of originals crazy. So I'm doing a 30% one, 31% sale on prints and a 62% sale on originals. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's a lot. It's a lot off, I know. But even then it comes it basically makes it to where everything on my website is under $1000. Sometimes some are like 900, but some are like 3 or 4 or 5 or 600. Some and then all the prints are you can get a print between forty dollars and three fifty. I think it's the highest one, and then you'll get originals between like three hundred and nine hundred. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so be rooting for me. <laughs> hopefully, it works, um, and hopefully, all these some of these paintings find a really good home. Maybe it might be the thing that you know people need to purchase eventually. And yeah, so I've just let you in on my whole plan <laughs> without actually giving you any specifics, kind of, <laughs> with any like actual like scripts and all. Again, if you want the scripts, if you want to figure out how to do the print process super quickly and easily and how to sell your prints, I have the Print Perfect tutorial and we're going through the fourth quarter success plan in the Artist Academy Advanced here very soon. We're starting that October 1st as we're going through the September prep right now. Shout out to you Artist Academy Advanced members. I know you listen to this <laughs> and I am so proud of you for investing in yourself. I too, I just want to say I've invested a lot in courses as well and probably more than any of you listening I guarantee <laughs> because but it works like, like you don't know what you don't know and even though I went to college to learn how to teach and all of that I still I needed to figure out how to teach online so I bought a course and it was like fifteen hundred dollars to learn how to teach online because I knew this is what I wanted to do <laughs> and it helps and so I'm so this is why I just I unapologetically share my tutorials, the Print Perfect, and just my, my, my membership group, <laughs> the Artist Academy Advanced, because it works. I've seen it work for students, and it, you know, the only thing though, if you think it's just going to solve your problems, if you're signing up and you're watching a video or two, that's not it. <laughs> um, don't come in if you don't want to make time for it, because it breaks my heart when somebody comes in and they're, and a month or two later, they're like, hey, I just don't have time for this. I got to go. I'm like, but why? <laughs> why don't you have, why don't you make time for this? <laughs> it works. <laughs> don't come in if you're going to do that to me. Don't play with my heart. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're about to go through the most profitable time of year in the fourth quarter success plan for artists if you're ever thinking about joining now is the time people are on their phones and online and on, on social media so much this year it's just stupid and I think this year it will be even better than any other year that we've seen with online sales. Actually, it's already been proven how much has been ordered on, you know, boutique sites, how much have you just like online shopped and all of those things. Like it's online ordering is huge right now and that's what I teach inside the Artist Academy Advanced is how to grow your online presence and make money from online. <laughs> and all the things and in the fourth quarter success plan as well we're doing the online portion but we're also doing the local in-person portion because those are two sides of my, of my business I do local murals and so we're going to be going and be pitching ourselves to local businesses we're going to be window painting we're going to be doing all the things and we're going to be doing it together so nobody feels alone <laughs> and I'm going to be coaching you through it the whole way I'm basically a mentor in your back pocket so if you think you could use that right now then now is the time to do it okay I hope I've inspired you to make 
money <laughs> in a short amount of time <laughs> with this because it's so possible if I can do it you can do it like I said there's the only difference between me and you is experience and um, yeah okay all right I'm out I will see you next week this episode is sponsored by the Mural Master Program inside of the Artist Academy Advanced Membership. This program is specifically designed to help you with every step of the mural process. From coming up with an idea, to finding a wall to paint it on, to pitching your ideas to businesses, and finally, of course, I teach you exactly how to paint large scale. Murals are a lot of fun and a great way to grow your art business. I know because it has been one of the top ways that I've been able to grow my own art business as quickly as I have. With several years of experience as a muralist, I've dialed down the painting techniques, the proposals, the pitching, the whole bit. And now I've compiled it into one resource for you called the Mural Master Program. This is included inside of the Artist Academy Advanced Membership, and I would love to invite you to join us by going to artistacademy.co, that is artistacademy.co, and click the link to see the Mural Master Program and learn more. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. If you review our podcast and send a screenshot of that review to me on Instagram, I am art by Andrea Earhart. I will gladly share your art on my Instagram story with a reach of over 60,000 as a thank you for helping us grow this Artist Academy community. And speaking of community, if you would like to be a part of our absolutely free and very encouraging community on social media, just head over to facebook.com slash groups slash Artist Academy, and I will see you next week. <laughs>